viewers, welcome back to BBC News with all the news report from all around the world. And today, on November 5th, 2021, we will bring information about the latest news today. Now with me, Vino Tafia, this is the news in details. Over 100 global leaders pledged to end deforestation by 2030. More than 100 global leaders have pledged to halt and reverse deforestation and land degradation by the end of the case underpinned by 19 billion US dollars in public and private funds to invest in protecting and restoring forests. The promise made in joint statement late on Monday at the COP26 climate talk in Glasgow was backed by the leaders of countries including Brazil, Indonesia, and the Democratic Republic of Congo, which collectively account for 85% of the world forests. The Glasgow leader decoration of forest and land use will cover forests to lay more than 13 million square miles, according to a statement released by the UK Prime Minister's Office on behalf of the leaders. We will have a chance to end humanity long history as a nature conquerer and instead become its custodian, said British leader Boris Johnson calling it an unprecedented agreement. More information about forests. We will call Risa to explain us about forest absurd. Here you go. Forest absorb roughly 30% of carbon dioxide emission, according to the non profit World Research Institute. The forests take the emission out of the atmosphere and prevent them from warming the climate. Yet this natural climate buffer is rapidly disappearing. The world lost 258,000 square kilometers of forest in 2020. According to WRI Deforestation Track Initiative Global Forest Watch, that is an area larger than the United Kingdom. Climate change is an established fact. We have learned the devastating change to nature, to global weather, and to air we breathe. The change that we fear are already beginning to transfer our planet. We have learned that we must act now, urgently, to prevent much, much worse. The important is that we all take responsibility because it just won't be achieved without collective action. If we all act now, if we all step up with the real ambition, we can still save our planet, our future. Therefore, to maintain human survival, we must maintain and preserve the existence of forests in the world. As you can see right now, I'm here to enjoy fresh air from the tea. That's for today. We will be back to studio. Well, viewers, that news for today. For more information, you can check our website on bbcnews.com. And I am Fina. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.